Um, but when it comes to sponsors, do you think every virtual event should consider working with sponsors? And then what are ways that they can incorporate these sponsors, you know, into Sorry. their event online? Yeah, it's a very good question, Savannah. So um, I'll tell you the way I think about events and just generally the philosophy of how we think about events at Social 27. It's um, there is, again, people come to events to listen to the best in their ecosystem. You know, the chosen few are the speakers. Uh, that's that's more or less to kind of spark uh, people's minds. The real That's not the real fire. The fire is when we take that knowledge and we then discuss it with our peers, what we refer to as networking in most cases. Right. So listen to the speakers, get sparked, create, you know, that warm fire with others who are in your community, network with them, share best practices and so forth. But once we have shared those best practices and we have a really kind of a developed a better understanding of the topic area, the next and most natural step is to then look for solutions and services which can help us actually take action on that. And that's where the sponsors and, you know, the exhibitors and the you know, solution um, you know, providers come into the picture. So for us, I think it's not an either or. The content, the networking, and the showcase of solution services, I think it all has to be well orchestrated because it is a natural progression and it uh, you know, has to have that connection with each of these three um, areas to really make uh, a valuable experience for the attendees. So absolutely, I think that there should be sponsors and exhibitors and you know, solution um, experts available, uh, you know, for uh, any event, right? So that would be the answer to your question there. Yeah. 